Okay, so I wanted to share a little video with you guys. I was on my Kubota and I had a tree on the forks and those forks uh, were carrying the tree from left to right and the root was on the right the top of the tree was on the left and I was trying to get through this narrow space that's uh, about 25 feet and the tree was about 35 feet maybe and all of a sudden, and the tree was right, right out in front of me. These forks up in the air, that's after the fact. Okay, so the tree is out in front of me, and I'm hitting these little trees on the side, and I thought they would just bend over. Well, they didn't. It acted like a slingshot with this. And if you can see, here's my tree. It's only about six inches, five inches in diameter, something like that pine tree it is sitting literally next to my lap it slingshotted it hit this lever down so my forks went up that was after this was already here of course it's bent my throttle it broke my dash um, I don't know what else is done once I take this off anyway the only way I could get the piece to stop turn the engine off but goes to show you, you you can't use forks for something like this um, I could have killed myself if, if this steering wheel wouldn't have been here I'd be dead I'm telling you the steering wheel hit my pants right here and my leg is still burning my knee this hit my knee and that's uh, still sore but uh, I'm pretty fortunate that I'm alive so I figure I'd share this video with you guys so you can stay alive. Don't ever try taking a log this long or a tree this long with forks down a road that's slightly narrow, more narrow than the length of the tree. Because if you do, it's going to come off of that and over that, I had the forks pitched up. So it just it made it where it could come straight up at me and it and it hit right here. You can see the scratches right up in here. I mean it happened so fast. All I did is yell and it was all over with. Um I I just felt it happening, boom, and it was done. I mean it wasn't a it couldn't have been a millisecond. I, I've never seen anything happen that fast. But anyway, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be alive. I'm very ticked off that my tractor's messed up. But I can fix all that. I can't, can't fix myself. So, thank you, Lord, for sparing my life. I'm sorry uh, I'm so stupid sometimes I do things like this. But I guess this is how we learn sometimes. I guess I choose to learn the hard way. Guys, don't learn the hard way. At the least, you'll mess up your tractor. The worst case, you'll lose your life. 